the television program. Welcome to Wrexham. The final episode of season one is going to air on FX tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern. It's available to stream the very next day on Hulu. And, of course, that's something you can get on Roku. This program is just a delight to watch. It follows the exploits, if you will, of Wrexham AFC, which is a football club bought by Rob McElhaney of Always Sunny fame and Ryan Reynolds of Deadpool and everything else fame. Big movie star. And fame. watching these two blokes, right? <laughs> uh, navigate their way through this world is just dynamite. And here to help promote the final episode is somebody who cashes checks written by these two actors because he is one of the best uh, in the business at what he does. The man reached the 30 goal milestone, becoming the first player in nearly 20 years to do so in a single season for Wrexham at the end of his first campaign, fighting for the title right now, currently in season in the National League Fifth Division, is none other than Paul Mullen, the striker, here on the Rich Eisen Show from Wrexham AFC. How are you, Paul? I'm very good, Rich. How are you? I'm doing fine. Um, uh, thanks for thanks for calling in. Uh, what is it like oh, to pleasure. yeah? What is it like to play for Rob and Ryan, Paul? It's it's wonderful. It's um, it was obviously quite strange at first, um, getting used to obviously Hollywood movie stars being about. But um, no, but a pleasure to work for the the way the proceeds on television shows and interviews is just how they are in real life. They're just genuine people, and um, we love working for them. And so, did you have to bring them up to speed in anything? Use your local knowledge. Paul? <laughs> yeah, I think um, it, it didn't show in the documentary, but in, during the first game that they were over, I think somebody got a yellow card, which is a booking in our game. Yes. And um, Ryan asked me if that meant they had to leave the field. <laughs> <laughs> but sadly, it didn't. But, um, it was just a, it basically a caution to make sure next time that they carried out a similar act, it would uh, mean they'd have to leave the field. So that was quite a, um, a funny moment to realize that he, didn't, he oh. didn't understand that. But I'm pretty sure now that they're, um, they're right into it and they know every single rule there is. Well, I, I know what a yellow card is. I'm not I'm not completely illiterate. Like, clearly, Ryan Reynolds is. My goodness. I mean, so uh, did you, any, anything, uh, any other moments that uh, have helped capture the city that you can, can let us know how these two guys have been shown up in your town, have changed things around in a way? Paul? I, th I think since they took over the club, it, it really um, galvanised the time in town. You know, as, as it's shown in the documentary, it's a working class town and people have to work really hard to earn the money and to, to try and have a better life. And um, when, they, obviously, the owners took over, it gave the place a real lift. And not just around the club, they, they've helped um, build a lot more of a profile around the community and bring other business into the community, which has helped out the local fans and I think it's shown I think it was epitomised in the documentary when um, Ryan was at the game although we didn't invite Rob which uh, <laughs> he wasn't too, Rob wasn't too happy about the, um, it really shown what the fans and the, the community think of them because they've, they've saved this club and um, taken it to, to new heights hopefully yeah and then I, I guess in that regard Paul for those who have followed the uh, the, the documentary and the program uh, on FX and then again it's available for streaming on Hulu it's your journey in particular uh, at Cambridge United. You scored 32 goals in 46 games, and then you moved to Wrexham. Why did you do that? Why did you d decide to, to, to go to Wrexham yourself, Paul? Yeah, it was a big surprise for a lot of people in the country when yeah. I, I left, obviously, from playing in higher leagues to, to drop down to Wrexham. But ultimately, it was, it was about my family, first and foremost. I've, I've got a young lad who suffers with autism, so it was about being close to home for him. Also, obviously, it's well documented that you get paid well. But about my family, and with him and Ryan at home, I think he can take it really far, so it was something that excited me. And like everybody else in life, you want to be excited about like, you know, it's a work, and that's still the same for me now. So I just I, I jumped at the chance to, to join a project and work for the future because I can't stop ever thinking about the future. So I thought it uh, really bolded well for me to, to sign for the club with the ambitions. 
And so, where, where, what is your plan uh, for for Wrexham AFC? What, 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 where, where, how do you envision, um, and where do you envision taking this club? Well, hopefully, we have to get out of this league first and foremost. Um, it, it's it's quite strange to to explain to people, but although this is obviously outside of the leagues that are higher, yeah, this is a lot more competitive league. It, it's it's only one team can go up by winning the, the league at the end of the season. And if you don't do that, then you go into a seventeen playoff like we did last year, and you have to fight it out over one spot extra to go up. So it's really hard to get out of. But once we get out of this league, if we do, then with Rob and Ryan and the way they invest in the club and, and the community, I think they can take it as high as they want. You know, I know they've outlined plans of trying to get the Premier League, which seems very far fetched to people, but it's a dream, and it's why not because. In 10 years' time, who knows where they can be. It's been done before from other clubs, and they're, they're still in the Premier League now. Look at Bournemouth. They, they play in the Premier League, and they, they went from the bottom division right the way up. So it can be done, and hopefully we can we can take it as far as that. All right. Which one's funnier, Rob or Ryan? I'm going to put you on the spot. Which one makes you laugh more, Paul? Who's funnier? Um, they're both equally as funny, but in different ways. Okay. Rob's more of a dry human. He's um, mm-hmm. quite up front, and then... Brian's quite a bit of a goofy humour, which which is basically a bit of me, both of them. Um, well, I think Brian comes across a lot more as a joker in in, ta- in face-to-face, mm-hmm. but also you, you see Rob and they, lo- they love a laugh between them. You know, nothing's ever too serious, and although they're really true businessmen, that nothing's ever too serious for them, and it's good to be around them. All right, Paul. When you first heard that they were coming on board, what did you think when you first heard about that, Paul? Well, when I was a free agent in the summer, and it was Rob McElhenney who called me. Mm-hmm. He, he basically told me that they, they were the owners of the club, and I'll be honest, at the time, I, I'm not a real movie fan. Mm-hmm. I had watched Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but I didn't oh. realise that's who Rob McElhenney was. <laughs> it was Mac. <laughs> okay. Um, but, but, yeah, I didn't, I, I'm not really a film guy, and I didn't know who they were. I was just more drawn by the project of the club, and then, obviously, after that, I've got to know how famous he really was, you yeah, know what okay. I mean? And and how how recognised worldwide he was and that that didn't influence my decision. But when they come and you're expecting a certain type of person to come, you know, when obviously they're so high profile and things like that, but they were the complete opposite, I think they really got the fact that it was a down to earth club with a lot of community aspects to it and they really bought into that because that like them as people that they've got real great personalities. Well, Paul, I appreciate you taking the time uh, out in the evening where you're calling from, and I look forward to following more of uh, you and your your club, and welcome to Wrexham. Season 2 has already been cleared, and I look forward to seeing the final episode of, of Season 1 uh, tomorrow night, and I appreciate the time. Greatly appreciate it. Best of luck to you and your no, family. Thank, thank you very much. I know I know what, how, how the next episode ends, but hopefully uh, it's an enjoyable <laughs> watch anyway. Spoiler alert. No problem. I appreciate that. Thanks for calling in, Paul. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. That's Paul Mullen, striker of Wrexham AFC. Check out again. Welcome to Wrexham. It airs on FX again on Wednesday night at 10 Eastern, and then it streams the next day on Hulu.